Today, guys, we're going to talk about a really cool new gun belt that uh, is very affordable but very high quality. So let's take a quick look. What's up, America? Neil here from Jungle Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. Hey, real quick, guys. Just got these in. This is the new Urban Camo Gray hats that we have. So check them out if you like. Today we're going to be talking about a gun belt. It's from $30 Gun Belt, and it is an all-leather belt. I'm wearing it right now. It's very high quality. I have my, my gun with me. And so let's take a quick look at what makes this special or why it's worth anything. All right, so let's take this guy off here. Hopefully my pants don't fall down. That'd be embarrassing, huh? Thank God for editing. Well, right off the bat, though, before I get any further, you're going to notice that the holes, I believe they're a quarter inch apart. That is super cool. For those that wear guns every day in a, in a holster of some sort, you're all cheering right now. And for those that don't, you don't realize how important this is, how helpful, rather, this is. Uh, typical, even gun belts, the spacing between the holes, I don't know if there's a standard in the industry, but this is very, very close. And so this really allows for much more fine adjustments, and that is super good uh, because depending on how you're going to wear your clothes for example maybe you're going to wear inside maybe you're going to wear outside the waistband well that's going to make a big a big change there um, now we're going to talk about uh, a couple different offerings that they have as far as their gun belts are concerned so first of all they have a, this is the smooth gun belt okay they also have a creased gun belt so it's got like two creases that run down here i guess it's a fashion thing i don't know and then they have a distressed gun belt, um, so I guess it looks a little worn. One of the things about this gun belt, and one of the things I'm always a big proponent of, is the fact that uh, a gun belt has a good uh, inner core. Now this one does not have an inner core. Uh, I've reviewed other belts in the past and I've always been a fan of that. This is, only, this is actually the first gun belt that I've personally ever worn that doesn't have a core to it. And so the first thing I did when I took it out of the box is like, here we go, and I squeezed this pretty hard and as you can see there that does not flex so even though it doesn't have a core because of the thickness and the toughness and I'm sure the quality of the leather and where it comes from the American cows in America or whatever uh, it's very very sturdy so I'm fine with it uh, I typically like cores and belts and I'm not going to go back on that but this one passes the test it is very very sturdy all right so let's set this aside for a minute let's talk about some details about it uh real quick just so we're on the same page i'm going to take this right off the site because i think it's important we get the good details here um, first of all it's one piece of full grain leather sheer height i'm sure if you're into leather that means something awesome i have no idea uh, it's also a quarter inch thick i said earlier they were a quarter inch i, I misspoke there is nine three quarter uh, inch apart uh, buckle holes. You can use your choice of Chicago screws or heavy snaps and, and this particular model and what they're talking about is right here. Uh, this is the uh, the screws and I like those because I just I think they're going to be more secure than snaps but there's other belts that have snaps that I like too. The buckle is very heavy duty. I'm very impressed with the quality of it. it remember um, just so we're on the same page it's called $30 gun belt because it costs thirty dollars so you're getting all this for thirty bucks okay uh, this is definitely a belt that I would say is on par with belts that cost twice as much and uh, look at that there it is made in America okay so at the end of the day it is a very I, I've been wearing it for a while now they've, they've given me this almost a month and a half ago when I got this and as you can see by it's uh, how it's kind of become supple in the corners here. I've been wearing it quite a bit. It is not at all given up, not even a little bit in its rigidity. I've been wearing a, a di several different holsters with it, but I've been wearing it with my concealed carry rig. I couldn't be happier with the belt hole spacings. Uh, as far as what a belt does, this, this does it uh, very well. You can check their site for how to properly size everything and all that good stuff, uh, but I think you'll be very happy. The only thing I can say negative about the whole thing is the name of the company is $30 Gun Belt. And what do you? I'm assuming that they're going to be successful with this. It's a good product. What are you going to do in five years? It's still going to be thirty dollars. Are you going to change the name of the company? So I'm not really sure about that. But hey, uh, nonetheless, for right now, go pick yourself up for thirty bucks a really high quality belt. I, I give it my full endorsement for that. Hope you guys learned something from that, or at least like the product. 
Uh, as always, you can subscribe below. Feel free to comment. You guys have experience with your belt or the same one. Feel free to comment. Uh, definitely a good one. You can find us on Instagram, YouTube, and our premium stuff also goes to Patreon. So, hope you guys like this review. Until next time, remember, it's always better be judged by 12. Thank you. Bye, six.